It's 24 in the PM of New Year's Eve 2022. And I thought I'd record because obviously it's the last day of, of this year, which has been a, a weird one for us. Um, it's absolutely lashing it down outside, you can't really tell. But I'm going to go for a walk because I feel sick to my stomach and sometimes walking helps us feel better. And at least if I'm sick, it's outside. <laughs> Hydration is important, of course. Water helps with the nausea a bit. It's not as heavy as I expected, the rain. You can probably hear it a little bit, but it's relatively chill out here. And it's helping us feel less sickly, so that's the main thing. There's a church at the end of there. And then there's a car coming down on this now, but there's nice trees down there. Like, it's so peaceful. I don't know why my camera isn't focusing. There's so many cars about, man. What are they dealing with? Like, I don't know. I'm trying to film a video here, man. Bloody branch dude, don't be new shoes as well. Raging, absolutely raging. And I know he got ran over by a bike when I was filming the clip earlier. This old geezer was behind us and I was like chatting away at ears and then I was probably walking all over the road. I'm not very good at walking in a straight line. That's something you can't see on here, but yeah. The rain's really messing with my camera. Oh well. This is one of my favourite activities. You know, when the rain, driving in the rain, used, driving in the rain used to be my favourite actually. But walking in the rain's close second, I'd say. It's annoying when there's people about me. My anti antisocial arse comes out there. Usually I can get a good sunset, but as you can see, the sky is just too great a day. But it adds a nice vibe. I'm going to walk past the church. I want to show you the church. Not that I'm a church goer or anything like that, but it is a very beautiful church. A sexy church. See, the annoying thing about my body right now is my lungs are wheezy and I have chest pain. It kind of takes the fun out of stuff like this when that's happening I guess that's the reality of it but I thought I'd just you know I'd tell you it's just so just so you know I'm suffering poor I'm here I'm in a really weird mood as you can tell like I've got a lot of energy despite all that stuff but the church is coming all the dead leaves the wreck leaves I made it to this church, seen it, it's huge, it's massive, I don't think I've ever been inside that church, I have no reason to, but yeah, I was christened, but it wasn't in that church, I'm going to head home now because I want to lie in bed, my lungs are pissing us off. This is what I see ahead of us. Big beautiful trees. I'm absolutely drenched. This will probably be the last clip before I head home or before I get home. It's been good. I don't feel sick, so that's a win. When they called, <laughs> so that's a big deal. I'm just trying to take this in as much as possible. Not that I take it in. It's just like I try and look around and and like 
save a picture of the trees or some crap in my head just to make it feel like I've took something in. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's not really many people about now. There was one person paying the respect, so I didn't record next to them, obviously. I've been home for around half an hour now and I'm just sitting here trying to get through the wheeziness which is doing me head in. It seems to be calming down now. I don't want to constantly go on about things on here but this is something that really bothers us. Like when I'm not getting as much air in and my bloody lungs are restricted it really triggers the anxiety like the air hunger gets way worse and I have to just try and get through it and I do like, I haven't had a panic attack but it could bring one on if I really if I really let it consume us and it's just something that really bothers us when my body isn't working properly it, it's very difficult to focus outwards like I'm hyper aware like I'm, I feel like I'm inside my body hyper aware of all the different sim symptoms um because that's something that's happened over the pandemic like at the start of the dissociation episode I was like thinking something was seriously wrong with me health so I just done so much research and my brain's absorbed all the different medical knowledge um so i'm always going through like all the different symptoms that i'm having and what bloody health condition it could be and it's not as bad as it used to be but i still have those thoughts and my brain just <laughs> has it has stored that just for future reference like all the health conditions um i think this is just good this is always his acid reflux because i was feeling sick and then the wheeziness comes on and it makes sense for it to be to be acid reflux so it's not really a massive deal um so yeah i'm just lying here with my body elevated i know it's not ideal to be lying down but i just feel feel like i feel tired from it all and when the anxiety gets high i just have to lie down otherwise it just feels like there's too much weight on your body it makes us freak out more, so lying down helps keep us calm. Um, so that's what I'm going to do for a while. I'm currently watching Alice in Borderland, which has been quite good. Um, yeah, and this is what I'm doing on the 31st of December 22. Eh? What a way to end the new year. I'm going to film, film later on as well, have a chat, but. It's like 5 p.m. now, so got a while till midnight. It's 9 p.m. now, and I can't really say I've done much other than get showered, had a bit of a shave. It's been a quiet one. There's been some fireworks going off, which I'm surprised at because it's absolutely lashing it down with rain. I don't know the logistics of that, but. Go get a firework, people, I guess. I'm feeling quite drained. Mentally and physically right now. Which is ridiculous since I've just lay in bed. Since I got back from my walk. And like I said, I've done a couple of things, but not much. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have a chat with you soon. Though. I need to discuss me new year's resolutions or some crap like that that i'm gonna spew on here just so i can look back on it in the future and now like i say i accomplished them or <coughs> get all depressed and think all crap yeah this guy didn't know what was coming <laughs> it is quarter past 11 almost it's nearly, it's nearly time. There's been fireworks going off outside my window. 
well, saying that only one lot that I could see, but I couldn't catch it on camera in time. How exciting is this, eh? <laughs> this is how um, most of me New Year's go. I've never really been one to do anything on New Year's. Like, I think I used to just spend it with my family, but the last two I've spent in bed just watching firework displays on the telly when, when the clock hits midnight. Um, I don't mind it, like, I never used to mind being by myself, it's only since I got DPDR constantly that I seemed to mind being alone and it stopped us enjoying me own company, you know, took that ability away, so I guess I'm always searching for, like, external things which I know won't even help anyway you know what i mean you can hear creaking at his bed by the way it always happens um yeah I, I don't know like i'm literally just sitting here watching a talk show on mute and that's been it because i've finished my series i was watching now It all seems pointless because at the end of the day it is like <laughs> that's life you just go through it is and do what you can and in the end you just die and it's it's over <laughs> you see i've always been an introvert i've always enjoyed my own company i find social situations very draining too loud too crowded too overwhelming I prefer silence and my own comfort and surroundings. Just peace. That's all that's all I ever wanted, peace. Peace and love, man. <laughs> Countdown's happening right now, four seconds. It's about to go off now. I made it a twenty twenty three. There's fireworks going off out there as well. Well, another year I've survived. Should be grateful, I should be happy. I should be relieved. But I'm not. And I'm okay with it. Well, as okay as I can be. Um, I'm just gonna keep going, keep pushing, living. As long as my heart's still beating, things can change. I need to try and believe what I'm saying there. I don't know if you can see them in the distance. It's going crazy out there. What I want out of this year, 2023, is to snap back the reality. I want the, the constant dissociation to end. Because not once this year did I snap back the reality. 24-7, I was dissociated this whole year. Three years now I've had this disorder constantly in the first year i had two two thirty second episodes where i snapped back and that was it i really need to get back i, I don't want to do this anymore like i don't want to deal with this i need it gone i'm hoping this is the year but deep down deep down here i have a feeling that this time, next year, this year, whatever, I'll be saying the same thing. I still have a little bit of hope, but I'm, I'm not sure. There's a lot of factors in play that 
I mean, they're trying to work with and see what happens. Not the main thing I want from this year. I don't give a fuck about anything else. I just want one reality back. I want me back. You know? And I want to keep making YouTube videos. It's one of the very few things that I gravitate towards. It feels right. As, as much as I can feel it. I always gravitate towards making videos. I think about making videos every day. It's constantly on my mind. So I want to keep posting on here and see where things go. I'm, I'm really... I'm really aware of how how this has turned out and it feels good things are happening with this. Like I really it gives us a purpose to my life. As dramatic as that sounds, I like, it's something I've always enjoyed doing since I was fourteen. Making videos and I wanna continue doing it. Um I wanna make sure I, I hope I keep the motivation, the little motivation I have to keep making videos. I don't want the depression and anxiety to take over and stop us from making these videos. I want to try and stay in control of that and build something out of this. Like, I don't know what can come from it, but I just want to keep posting and see, see where this goes, you know? So I just want to say thank you to everyone who watches, likes, comments, I really do appreciate it. It really gives us that purpose to life, um, to me life, which might sound sad, but I don't really care because this is my thing. This is what I really, this is what I love deep down. This is what I know I should, would love if I was here, you know? Um, but yeah, happy new year. Appreciate you. I wish you all the best. It's 2am now, and I've just been sitting here thinking, like, how have I survived this year? Like, what allowed us to keep going when I feel so horrible all the time? Like, I don't register anything. I remember how powerful just being present and feeling all the normal emotions was it was like cleansing to me heart cleansing to me body but now i have none of that it's like it's just the standard state of disconnection like and i've had some anxious nights like my anxiety got really high a few nights ago and i could i was i could have been close to a big panic attack and i was pacing around the room just freaking out and there was no particular reason that's the thing like my nervous system just got unsettled I was breathless I couldn't chill I just couldn't chill and it's like days like that that reinforce the, the disconnection and obviously I have issues with my family sometimes and obviously being alone in this bed all the time isn't good for us when I'm in this mental state and I just don't see like how how this is gonna change and I know I've discussed medication like, I have the the vaccine right next to us now the thing is things could be so much worse like, I could be having constant panic attacks I could be not eating starving right now freezing cold in and out of hospital wanting the to unalive myself but I'm I'm not there now so like I should I should feel grateful but I don't because I, I can't feel normal man I can't feel how I used to like I can't take stuff in and it it drives us crazy I don't mean literally but it, it frustrates us trying to figure it all out like what should I do like what should I be doing to try and get back to reality like is it is it even possible like, am I going to be stuck like this forever probably not but I don't know that like 
when I assess and try and think logically about like how what am I doing that's going to change my brain enough to make us get out of this dissociative state I haven't mentioned this on, on here before but I, me psychologist thinks that I am high functioning autistic which would explain why me why I've just had irrational anxiety why I felt so different why I feel the emotions so much more intensely and struggle to calm myself down and why I've isolated myself all these years and not really enjoy human interaction too much that would explain a lot but it's also like I pushed myself, I kept pushing and pushing through it all to the point of I just exhausted my body, I exhausted my brain and I broke down and I worry that I pushed my brain and body to the point of no return. I remember those days in December 2020, in December 2021 when I hadn't, I, I barely ate for like months, I was starving literally starving to death and I remember all those times I would wake up and I'd be violently shaking like having a seizure like my blood sugar was getting that low I lost control of my body my limbs and like I was yeah like something had crashed in my body and I worry that like I don't know I worry I just think maybe my brain got messed up at that point as well it maybe my brain got some kind of damage to it that's totally changed it you know like <clears throat> maybe that solidified the dissociation like I don't think like there's I haven't really met anyone who has been through those things and has constant dissociation like so I don't know if if it's possible for me you know that's what goes through my head like I know the human brain's incredible, it can fix itself, but what kind of damage can it really fix? You know, what kind of fix this kind of damage? Can it fix me? I don't know. You know? That's why it all feels a bit fucked. <laughs>